Good morning class, this is the lecture for 8A. It might be in two parts, I'm just not sure. So keep your eye on this. 8A is linear versus exponential equations, okay? A linear equation, your favorite one from algebra, y equals mx plus b, has a straight line graph, either decreasing, falling, or an increasing graph, positive. Negative slope, positive slope, okay? And in the equation, and you need to know these three things, M represents the constant change. You're paying five cents per mile, or you're paying 10 cents per Coke, or you're losing $100 per month on the value of your bike, something like that. X is always time, days, years, minutes, months. And B is always where you start, okay? The exponential graph, that's what we're experiencing now with the coronavirus. I have it, I give it to two people. Those two people give it to four people. Those four people give it to eight people. That's an exponential increase. So an exponential graph is a curve, Okay? And the formula is really buried in the reading, so you probably want to write this down. The new value is equal to your starting value times parenthesis 1 plus if you're increasing, minus if you're decreasing. Change the percentage to a decimal and raise it to the time. Okay? I'm going to take a second here while I raise the board and set you up. Okay, for an example of linear, this is the really easy one. This is your number 12. It says, the price of a gallon of gasoline is increasing by four cents per week. If the price is 350 per gallon today, what will it be in 10 weeks? Well, in this one, it is increasing by four cents, okay? It's starting at 350. And you want to know the price in 10 weeks. Okay. Well, first thing you have to realize is that you can't have two different monetary values. You cannot have cents and dollars. Either you have to turn this into pennies or this into decimals. I recommend decimals, 0 0.04. Big mistake is to use four, because then you're saying $4 in this if you don't change it. Okay, so I'm just gonna fit it in. Y will be my final answer. M is how much it's changing. It's increasing, so that's a positive, by four cents. And multiply that by the time. The time is 10 weeks, plus the starting value of 350. Four, 0 0.04 times 10 is 40 cents plus 350 is 390. And that's your answer. Okay? Not hard. Don't forget your dollar sign. And if you put a 4 in here instead of a 0 0.04, you know, it's completely wrong. All right? So the next one I want to do is exponential, and it is your number 10. It says the property of Winesburg, which is Winesburg, Ohio, which is a famous poem, is increasing at the rate of 10% per year. If the population is 100,000 today, what will it be in three years? Okay, this is your number 10. The population of Winesburg, Ohio today is 100,000 people. It's increasing by 10% per year. We want to know the population in three years. Okay? This is an exponential equation. Exponential must use this equation. So I would say 100,000 times 1 plus this gives you back your 100,000. One plus 
10% in a decimal. 0 0.10, close the parenthesis, to the time, and we're talking about three years, okay? And you do it exactly like you see it. 100,000, parenthesis, one plus 0 0.10, close parenthesis, to the third. And the answer for that is 133,100 people. Don't forget your identifier, okay? These are not hard problems as long as you remember. It's got to be a constant, every, I'm sorry, every single week it increases by four cents. That's a constant, no percentage point. That's what makes it linear. Exponential, it must increase or decrease by a percent. Okay, I'm going to set up for the chessboard. So uh, take these notes and I'll be back in a minute. Hello again. This is the second part of 8A. It's called the chessboard parable. Okay, this is an 8x8 eight eight chessboard. Okay, I didn't draw all my lines. Okay but an eight by eight chessboard. So we want to say, if we play a game and I win, every time I win, I get a cookie, okay? So this is the first square and I won the game and I get one cookie, okay? Now the rules of the game are that if I win again, I get double the previous amount. So the first time we played a game, I got a cookie. The second time we played a game, I got double the first or two cookies. The third time we played the game and I won, I got double that many cookies, four. I played again and I got double. Let's just do a few more. What is this number going to be? Think about it, 16, 32, okay? So let's fit this into our chart. Square number one, we got one cookie, okay? Square number two, one, two, we got two cookies. Don't get uh, thinking that it's gonna go up in, in order every time. Square number three, we got four cookies. Square number four, we got eight cookies, okay? Let's pause and look at the formula here. Okay, everything is in powers of two, all right? This is the first square, but I got a one. The only way to get a one with a power is if the power is zero. So this one would be the square number minus one, two to the zero, okay? This one would be the square number I'm sorry, two to the square number minus one. Two to the two minus one is two to the one, which is two. This would be two to the square number minus one. So that's two, that's a three. Two to the three minus one is two to the two, which is four. Can you guess what this one is? Two to the square number minus one, okay? So that formula is two to the square that you're sitting on minus one, okay? All right, so let's do a total now. We have one cookie. Here we have one plus two cookies. Here we have four plus three cookies. Here we have eight plus seven cookies. Okay, now these numbers should look interesting. I notice that they are, and I'll talk about this one first. This is the total, so that's the total. That is for the second square, that's both of these cookies, okay? For the eighth square, that's all these cookies, okay? These are the total number on the entire board. So, 
for this guy, this is just one less than two squared. This guy is one less than three squared, uh, two to the three. This guy is one less than two to the four. So this formula is always going to be a two, okay? To the square number, here's your one, minus one, because we started with just a one and that didn't follow our doubling pattern. This guy is going to be two to the square number minus one. This is going to be two to the square number minus one. 2 to the square number minus 1. Stick it in your calculator. 2 to the 4th is 16 minus 1 is 15. Okay, so here, let's do the 10th square. So this is 8, 9, 10. We're talking about that square. How many cookies are sitting on that square? Okay, well, I don't want to keep going through, you know, doing this because you know I'm going to ask you about the 22nd square, because I don't want you just filling in doubles. So we come over here, and we say 2 to the 10th minus 1. So 2 to the 9th. I don't know what that is, but you fill it in for me. 2 to the 9th. Okay? So that's just on this square. This is one little square. How many cookies are on the board up to and including the 10th square, okay? That, and again, I don't wanna keep doing this. It's gonna be two to the 10th minus one. Um, 963 maybe, something like that. You enter it exactly like that. I call this the little one and this the big one because this one is a power and this one is a constant. And that's it, so there is no part two for 8A, okay? Your next quiz will be over 7E and 8A. Okay? And I've sent out a couple of things for you today. They're in your emails. Same questions, I look forward to it, bye-bye.